Hello and welcome to the Industrial LASX tutorial video series. Today in this short video, we'll be talking about taking a picture and applying a scale bar to our image. First, a quick overview on our user interface. There are two principal tabs, Configuration and Acquire. You'll be spending most of your time in the Acquire tab. On the left-hand side of your screen are a series of panels, starting with the Windows Explorer panel in which I have created a folder called Images and then clicked on the red dot indicating to the software I want images to automatically be captured there and the software to name the images starting with image 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Below that is the tool to adjust the exposure time, increase or decrease the gain, and other controls for your camera. Below that are the intensity and aperture settings for either your aperture diaphragm or your field diaphragm. Below that, if you have a compound microscope, will be the individual magnifications for each of your objectives. If you have a stereo mi uh, microscope, it will be the zoom range that you have selected. Below that are the different illumination contrasting methods, such as bright field, dark field, polarized light, etc. And then finally below that are different user-defined memory functions that can be memorized automatically for quick access. On the right-hand side, we see we have adjustments for adding a scale bar as well as uh, showing or hiding that scale bar when we burn it into the image. In our live image here that is moving, it's a movie, I can take an individual picture three different ways. The first way is to click on the camera icon in the lower left-hand setting. The second way is to click on the flashing white button in the upper left that will take a picture. And the third way is to press the F3 button on your keyboard. So I'm clicking on the button that says capture an image and here is my captured image. If I go back to the live mode, which is using the play button in the lower left hand corner and decide I want to take a picture with the scale bar on it. Then I move over to the right hand side of my screen and turn on the scale bar button. that now shows in the lower right hand corner, but there are nine different places on the screen where it can be shown at the by default. It is always about the same distance on the scale bar but the numbers change as your magnification changes. Conversely, the operator can change that to free configuration where they can dial in whatever distance is desired. Now that we have the scale bar on the image, we need to tell the software to burn that in when we acquire it. So to do that, we click on this icon closest to the button on the right hand side and turn the button on that has a stamp. Notice that the icon in the lower left hand corner now changes so that when we take a picture it automatically burns the scale bar in. So that's one of two ways to burn a scale bar into the image. The other way is to go to the navigator, click on the previous image where I do not have a scale bar yet, and then click on the button to acquire that image with the overlay built in. So now I have the same image only with the scale bar on it. So you do not need to remember to add a scale bar or to uh, remember to burn a scale bar into your image prior to acquiring. You can always add a scale bar later. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for listening.